Britain. Administration, faculty, and alumni will welcome our students in our traditional academic walk. Please rise and join our faculty and staff in applause as we welcome the graduates of Temple University's College of Education and Human Development 2023.
My name is Dr. Julie Booth, and I serve as the Deputy Dean for the College of Education and Human Development. Welcome to Temple University's College Ed Education and Human Development's May Commencement Ceremony. Each year, we look forward with great anticipation to seeing our students reach this academic milestone. We are excited to see how you will take what you've learned at Temple and apply it passionately and proudly into your professional careers, remembering always that you represent your alma mater and its core values. Graduates, you are about to graduate from a College of Education and Human Development program that is ranked among, among the best graduate schools of education by US News and World Report. You will be joining over 40,000 alumni worldwide. Beginning today, we expect you to teach the world ever more clearly what it means to be Temple made. While the purpose of this day is to honor our Temple University graduates as well as their families, as is our tradition, we would like to take this moment to say a special thanks to all of those who have served to protect our city and country. Please stand so that you can be recognized. At this time, I would like to introduce some special guests in attendance. In addition to our esteemed faculty, dedicated professional staff, and keynote speaker, I would, like to I would like to recognize administrative staff members who served on the Student Speaker Selection Committee. Rachel Berger, Derek Kaufman, Krista Hunter, Anastasia Leonti, Don Roberts, and Tina Young. I'd like to recognize our board members from the College of Education and Human Development Alumni Association. Our honors students who are wearing gold honors cords. And finally, our Kappa Delta Pi International Honor Society students who are wearing purple and green cords. I now invite our Dean, Dr. James Davis, to the podium to deliver opening remarks for this auspicious occasion. Congratulations, College of Education and Human Development graduates. Today represents a significant milestone for you as individuals and your friends, significant others, and families. By coming to Temple, you made a commitment to education and enlightenment. And then you honored that commitment through late night study sessions, through in-person learning and virtual learning, through a pandemic, through personal hardships, you persevered. You've made it. Today, we all celebrate your accomplishments. As you celebrate, Remember that you did not get here alone. Your wonderful achievements were made possible through the love, support, hard work, and mentorship of family, parents, grandparents, cousins, significant others, friends, and your community. With their support, you have the opportunity to achieve the success. And don't let it stop with you. Today, you've achieved one of your dreams, and I challenge each of you to make today be that day that you began to use your newly acquired skills in teaching, mentoring, counseling, research, and organizing to empower others like you to achieve their dreams. How you manage this challenge is ultimately up to you. Nonetheless, find meaningful and sustaining ways to embrace the expansive platforms we have provided as you navigate the future and find ways to empower others. I want to thank all the staff who've worked tirelessly throughout the year to help us, 
and have worked especially hard to make this graduation really special. I would also like to thank the faculty who have served as both teachers and colleagues and as mentors and friends. Most of all, thank you graduates for selecting the College of Education and Human Development. We are immensely proud of your accomplishments. So please stay safe, healthy, and in touch with us as you soar to greater heights. Congratulations. Our 2023 graduation speaker, Ajawa B. Asamoa, is a lifelong racial equity champion, multiple award-winning social impact strategist, highly sought-after political power player, and history-making policy architect. She wears multiple hats and debunks the outdated myth, you can't master multiple trades. She conceptualized and developed legislative and social impact strategies for and leads the groundbreaking Crown Act movement, in addition to having spearheaded the legislative victory to codify the nation's first office of African American Affairs. A trusted advisor to local, state, and federal officials, including the Biden-Harris campaign, she currently serves in yet another historic role as the first senior advisor for racial equity to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD secretary. She has provided subject matter expertise as an appointee to numerous commissions, committees, and advisory boards for notable entities, including her beloved Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the U.S. Small Business Administration, Temple University, and the D.C. Commission for Women. Deemed one of the most powerful people globally by Ebony Magazine in 2021 for her social justice work, she has served as a radio co-host on Sirius XM and has written thought pieces published in venues like the GRIO. Ajawa, a two-time Temple University graduate, earned her Bachelor's of Art degree in African American Studies and Psychology, and her Master's degree in Educational Psychology. She also has a post-master's certificate in Applied Behavior Analysis. Currently a doctoral student at Washington, George Washington University, she plans to defend her dissertation this summer. We are excited and honored to welcome our 2023 keynote speaker back to campus today. I'm delighted to introduce to you Ajua B. Asamoah. Greetings, Dean Davis distinguished faculty and staff, especially Dawn, I don't know where she is, but I want to thank her. And most importantly, the 2023 graduates and families and friends. Again, my name is Ajwa B. Asamoah, and I am both honored and excited to be here with you all at the very place where I studied and grew and learned and partied just a little bit, just a little bit, but I was prepared to do all that I am doing now. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that I stand before you a little bit taller with an extra dose of pride today as a black woman knowing we have Dr. Joanne Epps, a black woman, leading, 
leading our beloved Temple University as acting president. Talk about a special time to be back on campus. Now to the business of this graduation keynote. When asked to serve in this critically important and prestigious capacity, I first thought, do they really mean me? Did the protesting I did, the, as the late great Congressman John Lewis calls it, the good trouble I got into, and the activism I was engaged in as a student leader, I wondered, did that finally fall off of my record, I wondered. As a two-time and second-generation Temple graduate, I immediately drafted an OMG, absolutely, without doubt, count me in, how long do I have, and what time do you need me to get their response? But I wear a few hats, as the dean said, and one of them is as a strategist, and I think like one, and so I paused. And I anxiously waited a few minutes before replying, you know, just in case I received a subsequent, we would like to formally recall the email sent, the message was sent in error notice. Apparently, Dean Davis is a bit of a calculated risk taker and actually meant to send the invite to me and entrust me with such a task, and I am forever grateful. Now, as I sat down and thought about what could I possibly say to graduates who are already brilliant because you chose Temple University, I paused again. These speeches are seemingly supposed to be equal parts inspiring and humorous and substantive. Well, I am certainly no comedian. I'm not exactly sure how inspirational I am, but the substantive part is what I want to bring home to you today in my remaining time. The mission of the College of Education and Human Development is to promote education as a primary mechanism for social mobility and justice. <laughs> Worthy of a clap. To me, as an activist still, that translates into education as a tool for liberation. A tool for liberation. We all learned the ways in which research, theory, and practice should work in tandem as educators, teachers, counselors, community organizers, organizational leaders, psychologists, and researchers. The world needs your activism to improve the quality of life for all people, to move us forward as a society. The college has prepared you to do just that. To leverage what you have learned over the course of your time at Temple to be change agents. And they expect nothing less. Now, I have shared what our beloved professors expect. Now let me share with you what you can expect. You can expect your path to success to not be linear. You may, in fact, you will likely experience a time or two of uncertainty or a setback. I want you to know it will be temporary. As an old friend of mine often says, a setback is a set up for a comeback. So don't expect a straight path to the top. But as an owl, well known for being wise, but less known for their unique feathers, enabling them to fly quietly, virtually silently, meaning folks may not even see you coming to take your rightful spot. You should expect 
ultimately to thrive. You should also expect people to doubt you. You, however, should never doubt yourself. As a Temple graduate, as a Temple graduate, I want you to always be confident knowing you are prepared, positioned, and poised to succeed. Yes. How do I know? Because I am speaking from experience. A mentor, a professor, told me to leave the nest. You have graduated from Temple twice. Go add to your college de debt somewhere else now. So I moved from DC, I moved to DC from Philadelphia to pursue my doctoral degree. Just months into my program, I had traveled to Philly because I still consider this home, and I was in a car accident on 76. My car was totaled and I woke up in the hospital. I withdrew from my cohort, started over a year later with a new cohort, Life happened, I got sucked into electoral politics, trying to save democracy, and I had to appeal for more time to finish my degree. Now, however, I am on track to defend my dissertation in three months. Bothered by the reality of black children missing school and having negative educational experiences because of race-based hair discrimination, meaning having hard times in school because you choose to wear locks or braids or twists, a natural style, bantu knots, etc., I decided change was necessary. People laughed at me, y'all. They said I couldn't do it, said it was Get this, impossible. Well, I conceptualized policy change in 2018, subsequently developed the legislative and social impact strategies for the Crown Act, and I lead the nationwide movement to outlaw racial discrimination in the form of hair discrimination. My brainchild, my strategy, and tireless work with a small but mighty team has resulted in laws being changed in 21 states and counting. I should note, just in case there is any question about how a determined Temple grad works, I flew to Texas, yes, Texas, earlier this week to testify in the Senate in support of what elected officials who are actually the bill sponsors call my bill, and it is positioned to pass with overwhelming bipartisan support in the coming days. Again, yes, I said in Texas. Many people believe three represents completion, so I'll lastly share. In a rapidly gentrifying DC, also known as Chocolate City, I wanted to ensure the history was not lost. And some part of it remained for the people who helped make it what it is. Full disclosure, there was an existing mayoral order for the Office of African American Affairs I am a Temple grad. I know an order isn't permanent and can be easily overturned. And as an activist who honed her skills on this very campus, I wanted an office that would be permanent and funded because I knew there was a need. Once again, I was laughed at, this time by some high-ranking officials, that told me it's not possible. They even encouraged me to not just pursue this thing. Well, I secured a bill's sponsor, and even with a hearing date conveniently scheduled for July 6, 2017, while folks were still in holiday and vacation mode, I organized like they had never seen before. 
I had so many witnesses there to testify representing so many sectors and organizations, including my Delta Sorors, my AKA girlfriends, other people from Panhell, academics, activists, business owners, people from the faith-based and educational institutions, and individuals who just heard about it and showed up. Those same naysayers were running around a packed city hall asking what is happening and how did she do that? My answer is simple. I spearheaded the legislative victory to codify the nation's first office on African American affairs, again, with some funding, because I was prepared to do so. The grooming and support I received from my Temple family, including my fellow Temple grandfather, Dr. Kwame Boutria Samoa, empowered me. I have gone from being a student leader to a senior leader in the Biden-Harris administration serving as the first and only black woman to ever be appointed senior advisor for racial equity to a United States secretary. I have the privilege of walking in my purpose and working every day to try to right the historical wrongs of the government. And I get to do so under the transformational leadership of my Shiro, a woman I admire named Marsha L. Fudge. Now, I will not pretend that my path has been popular or profitable. It has not. But it has been purposeful. And I want that for all of you. Know you have power and leverage it. The world needs your activism, whatever that looks like in your respective chosen fields. If and when needed, stare doubt in the face and decide you are going to champion progress anyway. You are now officially joining the ranks of some of the most accomplished change agents in the world. We are waiting to welcome you with open arms. No, as you leave the nest, you always have a home you can come back to at Temple University. My standing here before you today is proof. 2023, Temple graduates, you are prepared positioned and poised for success. Remember Temple's motto, perseverance conquers. You are Temple made, never shrink, never doubt yourself. Go shake things up and make us all Temple proud. Thank you, Ajua. As our students and alumni know, Temple University was founded by Russell Conwell, who was a lawyer, minister, writer, and most of all, an educator. His famous Acres of Diamonds message continues to remind us of the value of education, family, and community service. The college's mission endures that philosophy to this day, and we are truly grateful to have Ajua provide our keynote address today. We honor her continuous hard work in education and supporting the community by presenting her with her very own crystal diamond that symbolizes Dr. Russell Conwell's Acres of Diamonds message. I would now like to introduce Dr. Renee Tobin, Professor and Chair of the, of the Psychological Studies in Education Department and Interim Chair of the Policy, Organizational, and Leadership Studies Department. 
staff will direct the first row of doctoral candidates to make their way to the stage. and one of its greatest universities that is located in a large urban landscape. We seek to prepare graduates who are ready to contribute community-oriented and practice-relevant research, research that can have a real impact both on the scholarly community and, more importantly, on the lives of learners and teachers. Only 1% of the U.S. population has a doctorate, and that makes sense. For while the road to attaining one is undoubtedly rewarding, it is undoubtedly arduous as well. Dean Davis, Deputy Dean Booth, esteemed faculty, devoted alumni, and dedicated professional staff, I am pleased to present those students who have achieved the pinnacle of academic success for recognition of a Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of Education degree. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Bailey. Archie DeBaria. <laughs> Ryan C. Palmer. Hooded by Dr. Burns. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Cordes. Matthew Robert Dunn. The following candidate will be hooded by Dean Davis, Jake Douglas Winfield. The following candidate will be hooded by Dr. Ding, Lisa Allison Chen. The following candidate will be hooded by Dr. Ben Torsney in place of Dr. Joseph Doucette, Courtney Redford. Um, also hooded by Dr. Ben Torsney is Leanne Grundell. Also hooded by Dr. Ben Torsney, Chris Wolfgang. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Farley, Stephanie, Stephanie Myotis.
following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Hall. Alexis Layla Rylander Bennett. Also hooded by Dr. Hall is Shelley Lynn Pierce. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. McGinley. Keisha L. Ransom. Thank you. The following candidate will be hooded by Dr. Patterson. Nicholas St. John Peters. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Payton, Kalia Michelle Braswell. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Pendergast, Samantha Jean Rushworth. Also hooded by Dr. Pendergast is Mariah Nicole Davis. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Sandalos, Samantha Lynn Schwartz. Also hooded by Dr. Sandalos, William Vincent Pilney. Also hooded by Dr. Sandalos, Mauli Savan. The following candidate will be hooded by Dr. Schneider and Dr. Gilmore, Justin Harper. The following candidates will be hooded by Dr. Stull, Elizabeth Miller Cooper. Also hooded by Dr. Stull, Lauren Michelle Edgel.
also hooded by Dr. Stull, Patrick Michael Clancy. The following candidate will be hooded by Dr. Tincani, Megan Anna Roberts. Before we can, before we conclude, before we, before we conclude with the doctoral candidates, we would like to announce the recipients of the Corn Award and the Joe Doucette Dissertation Award. The Marlene S. Corn Humanitarian Award goes to a student who is judged to have made the greatest humanitarian contribution in the areas of teaching, scholarship, and service while serving as a graduate assistant. The Joe Doucette Dissertation Award is for the best PhD or EDD dissertation in the College of Education and Human Development, recognizing exceptional research and scholarship by a doctoral student. I am delighted to congratulate Jake Winfield for the Korn Award and Sophia Seifert for the Joe Doucette Dissertation Award. Please stand and be recognized. I now introduce to you Ms. Whitney Skippings, the class of 2023 graduate student speaker. Hello, my fellow owls, and especially that group right there. <laughs> I am Whitney Skippings, a Master of Education graduate from the Counseling Psychology Program. And I recognize I'm, <laughs> I recognize I'm one of the few things between you all and this stage, so I'll try and keep it brief. Um, if you're planning on tuning me out after the first few seconds, the bottom line of this speech is I celebrate each and every one of you. And I am proud to count myself among you. That's like the, that's the bulk of it. <laughs> the, the programs in the College of Education and human development are, without a doubt, some of the most important professions in society. Without us, therapists, educators, school psychologists, and education policy experts, our progress as a people would stagnate. And we could have guessed that was true before the pandemic, but now we know beyond a shadow of a doubt how essential we truly are. As Temple University named its strategic priorities last December, the university named two devastatingly critical challenges that the Temple community needed to face head on. You can probably guess at least one of them. One is mental health and the other was city violence, very much reflective of what we're seeing through the city and this nation. These are the challenges that we, the graduates of the College of Education and Human Development, will need to face. Whether you're a counseling psychology student like me, who wants to work with refugees and immigrants in the community mental health space, or an educator facilitating, thank you, uh, facilitating the social and academic development of the next generation, you will be among the front lines of Philadelphia's greatest challenges. And to meet these challenges, Temple has equipped us with the knowledge, but we still have to provide the passion and the action to actually facilitate change. And in the words of former President Barack Obama, you have to go through life with more than just passion for change. You need strategy, not just awareness, but action. And that is what I wish for all of you, that passion, that awareness, that strategy, that action. And when those elements come together, well, that is how we will make those devastatingly critical challenges a little less devastating. So to all the graduates, congratulations. And for most of us, the excitement of starting our program was overshadowed by the uncertainty of COVID-19. And yet here we are. And I know we're all sick of the word unprecedented being used to describe this time. So I'll use something different, we'll shake it up. And I'll use the word miraculous to describe us. And in the midst of a global crisis, we made the decision to serve our communities. 
And that is nothing short of miraculous. And not only that, it is essential. So to our families, both chosen and blood, thank you. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I could not have done this without the support of my family over there in 114. Um, <laughs> and I know that many of these graduates before me feel the same way. For those who didn't know, I started this program four months pregnant with our little girl, Cassandra. <laughs> And my success and ability to graduate from my program on time was contingent upon the support from loved ones who stepped in to care for a newborn or sent meals during sleepless study nights. And while my situation was unique, I can say with certainty that this milestone is not just one for us graduates, but is shared with everyone in this room. Everyone, I said I'd keep it brief. I lied. That's fine. Um, I wish all of you well, and I hope that over the duration of our careers, we have the privilege of intersecting with one another again. Good luck, owls. The challenges ahead are tough, but we are temple made and we are tougher. Congratulations. Thank you, Whitney. I would now like to reintroduce Dr. Renee Tobin, who will pre present our specialist and master's degrees. At this time, staff will direct the first row of specialist and master's degree students to rise and make their way to the stage. Dean Davis, Deputy Dean Booth, esteemed faculty, devoted alumni, and dedicated professional staff, I present candidates for the degrees of educational specialist, master of education, master of science in education, and professional science masters. Sydney Young. <laughs> Hannah Evans. <laughs> Courtney Spriggs. Rebecca Evans. Jennifer Yoakum. Kate Bray. Sophia Diamidio. Kaylin O'Donnell. Elizabeth Switzer. Lindsay Catherine Coop. Zachary Bonetti. Sean Patrick Shannon Jr. Sean Patrick Chilton. Brendan Michael McCune. Taylor James Sabatini. Amanda Nicole Bogle. Cameron Stabline. Annie Judge. Dylan Kansara. Emily Cummings. Juliana Catherine Rowland. Abigail Howard. Jesse Krikalis. Sydney Rosaire Patrick. Delilah Matera. Melisandra Paulson. Jade Chung. Abigail Elise Daly. Madeline Joy Coots. Rachel Ann Savoca. 
Stephanie Marie Creevy. Summer L. Gogri. Amber Rose Moore. Elizabeth M. Regan. Rebecca Adelaide Scardaletti. Freddie Enrique Moran II. Evan James Saratore. Joel Ethan Goldstein. David Andrew Robinson. James Mergel. Jordan Campbell. Aliyah Brown. Martina Simmons Edwards. Tatiana Nicole Biggs. Bernadette Nazare Bautista. Katrina Velasquez. Brianna Guathney. Tess Nelson. Maria Shayna McBride. Elizabeth Noel Hallinan. Emily Marie Rathgeb. Magella De Leonardo, Sarah Sassler, Victoria Avery Amanda Riedel, Lissa Ann Rudisil. Emma M. Islinger. Carolyn Grace Doran. Victoria Rose Whitney. Shannon Sharice C. London Alexandria Gentry. Andrea Ugarte. Noah Cohen. Kiara Joan Scaramuza. Megan Heron. Sunaina Tandon. Mary Elizabeth Mulligan. Nicole Lawton. Raquel Yvette Watson DeShields. Gabrielle Eve Gorin. Catherine Marie DeLoretto. Hannah Donner. Abisha Ebenezer. Adelaide Mooney. Fiona Tran. Zoe Lynn Singer. 
Michelle Skirtich, Anthony Bruno LaRosa, Sarah Toima, Gabriela Rodriguez, Alexis S. McNear. Brittany Lauren McKenna. Michael Torres Jr. Lillian Kai Okan. George William Constantino. Gabriel Simone Clark. Naja Sherrod Rankins. Sarah Godwin. Shyla Crawford Hyman. Marwa Benamed Ali. Aaron Smallo. Kevin Harrod. Juan P. Bustamante. Antonia Bartolome. Joseph Robert Riley. Mirel Masan Eldasoki. Audra R. Lubiak. Jillian Ruth Latimer. Anastasia Manchenko. Marlena Stew. Dominique Nieves. Irvin Atmore Miller III. Victoria Rose Weineke. Alicia M. Ortiz. Rebecca Alexandra Pinkasoff. Lauren Picconi. Charles Warner Zachman. It's okay. It's Patrick R. Fliggy. <laughs> Catherine Hayes. <laughs> Kai Elise Gray. <laughs> Stephanie Renee Jordan. Jordan Rosalind Henderson. <laughs> Teresa Merritt Watson. Spencer Roderick Bell. Johanan Odner. Starlin Paulino. <laughs> Roe Nissan. <laughs> Selena Bin. Eliana 
Stanislawski. Wame Zhang. Insem Kong. Kathyon Bixby. Hannah Reimer. Claire Alexandra Kutzler. Sabrina Marie Dormer. Briar Massey. Crystal Abel. Jasmine Dixon. Elizabeth May Choplin. Gold Aleka. Whitney Skippings. I now introduce to you Emily Davis, your 2023 undergraduate student speaker. Welcome friends, family, faculty, staff, and alumni, but most importantly, the graduating class of 2023. My name is Emily Davis, and I'm so honored to be this year's commencement speaker and to celebrate this joyous occasion with all of you. Today, we go from being students to educators. I may be biased, but I believe that the College of Education and Human Development is the most extraordinary of them all. Whether you're going into technology, teaching education, human services, one of the many other options this college offers us, we are changing and shaping other people's lives. I believe that education is made for a certain human being, Someone who's not afraid of tireless days, immense amount of work, sometimes little pay, but at the end of the day, we all want to have a positive impact. Some might say, change a life. Our reasons and goals for choosing this career path all vary, but none of us would be sitting here today if we didn't have a true passion for serving this community to the best of our abilities. I believe there are people who are driven by money and then those who are driven by purpose. I think I can safely say that majority of us here are the latter, but that's what makes us special. I'm proud to know that everyone here is going into a career they are truly passionate about. The individuals we will work with will be loved, respected, and treated fairly. Lucky for us, Temple has given us the tools and resources needed to find real solutions to the problems we face in the field, not just put a bandaid over a wound and say, not my problem. Instead, Temple has taught us to treat every kid like our own and give them a fair shot at life. In 2009, I was diagnosed with auditory processing disorder and decoding deficit disorder. For those of you who do not know, these two disorders affect many people's speech and hearing abilities. Throughout grade school, I struggled academically and socially, and I was embarrassed to speak to people and was not proud of my academic work. My parents had to push to get me a fair and equal education. They fought for my IEP and 504 plans that fit my needs and got me endless hours of speech and hearing therapy. They fought my battles for me and were sometimes my biggest and only advocates. Their love and support is the reason I'm up here today, able to speak clearly and confidently to all of you. <laughs> yeah, they're over there, by the way. <laughs> but not everyone has the support system that I had. Every day, students are passed along to the education system. My parents should not have had to fight as hard as they did to make sure that I received the education that I deserved. It's our turn to stand by the students and families and do everything we can to get them an equal education and have a positive impact on this community. The biggest lesson that I've learned from my education courses in my senior year is that it's not what you teach, but how you teach. Yes, teaching basic concepts like English and math are important, but at the end of the day, a child's well-being is the most crucial aspect. It's about understanding how every individual student learns and receives information to ensure that every lesson is targeted towards all students' capabilities. 
I want to go into work each day knowing there are students who are excited to be there and to learn from me. My goal as an educator is to be that special support system outside of their home. Once I learned this lesson, I knew that I made the best decision of my life and will never regret my choice of going into this profession. I found my purpose. We all have our own stories and experiences, but standing up here today, I can feel everyone's passion and excitement to get started. As we finish up our internships, student teachings, and tie up our loose ends, we are ready to go into this professional world. It is an honor to call you all my classmates and now my colleagues. Praise to each and every one of you. I have no doubt in my mind that this class will be nothing short of exceptional, and I cannot wait to see what we all achieve in the upcoming years, and I wish you all the best of luck in whatever path you take. It has been an honor speaking to you all today. We did it. Congratulations, Temple University College Education and Human Development, Class of 2023. Family, friends, faculty, staff, and alumni, please give a round of applause to our future change makers. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Laura Pendergast, Associate Dean of Assessment and Data Informed Planning, who will present our bachelor's degrees. At this time, staff will direct the first row of bachelor degree can candidates to rise and make their way to the stage. Dean Davis, Deputy Dean Booth, esteemed faculty, devoted alumni, and dedicated professional staff, I present candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Education. Megan Arters, cum laude. Roger Smith. India Santiago, Victoria N. Burns, Amy Marie Beck, Chelsea Badri, Kai J. Pinnell. Charlotte Rose Knopf. <laughs> Mamadu Fadila Dembele. <laughs> Delilah N. Locke. <laughs> Sarah L. Ott. Alexandra Myers, Molly Ann Ray, Jillian S. East, Katrin Janet Stewart, Aliyah Khadija Ruin. Jenna L. Seal, cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Woodward. <laughs> Allison R. Ray. <laughs> Deanna Maria Bongerzone. <laughs> Angela Carmel. Carpio Alquiros, summa cum laude. Michelle Morales. Mia Mormondo. Christopher Douglas Jackson.
Beverly A. Norville. Lillian Rose McNicholas. Xiomara Jimenez. Rosa. Sophia Francis Bowtie. Casey Myers. Nicholas Apato. Danielle Shapiro. Sarah Luisa Lopez. Emily Christine Markovich. Madison Elizabeth Diaz. Allison S. Rolo. Zacharias A. Lawrence. Julia B. Robinson. Elizabeth Hoba. Julianne M. Jakes. Summa cum laude. Bruna Kumarachi Kleinman. Amanda Maria McDermott. Kayla Paige Coffer. Alexa Monsalve. Vanessa L. Rybans. Shara Rubenstein. Rebecca A. Sodman. Sierra Amber Gonzalez. Allison Kate Robbins. Hannah Virginia Johns Holland. Chloe E. Gauss. Jake G. Blummer. Camilla Annabelle Zucchiene. Tatiana Williams. Terry Nguyen. Ty Bolden. Isabel L. Fiore, magna cum laude. Gabrielle Josephine Englander. Michael Cook, Jr. Kayleen Cynthia Bost. Alyssa L. Lamberson. Michael Hamilton III. Christian K. Dupree. That's what I'm talking about! See that? That's what I'm talking about! Why two double on the land? That's what I'm talking about! Why two? Naja Bin Sadiq. Lanaya Simone Jenkins. Smith.
Jerquavon Mahone. Ahmed Anderson Jr. Layton Jordan. Isabel Taylor Crumbly. Macy Lane Siegel, Magna Kumade. Aaron Rose Gallagher. Sky Phillips. Emily G. Nugent. Stephanie Blaschke. Micah S. Cochran. TJ Perjean. Iverson Clements. Jacob A. Holland. Lassine Ture. Daryl Marcus Randy Walton. Grace Shauna Wells. Logan Kelly. Benjamin I. Gravinsky. Kristen Carl. Mariah Loper. Marianne A. Chapelski. Brittany Garner. Isabella M. Definis. Yasmin Ferguson Smalls. Cindy Chen, summa cum laude. Natalie Rose Arnon, cum laude. Kenna G. Donaldson. Kyla Asayang. <laughs> Kelly Quinn. <laughs> Kathleen N. McCann, cum laude. <laughs> Casey Ann Mitchell. <laughs> Julia Rose Belotti. Kiera Marie Gemi. Avery Sandra Gaffredo, Magna Cum Laude. Vittoria Valeria Hille. Sydney Allen. Josephine O'Brien Burst, Summa Cum Laude. Carolyn B. Driscoll, Summa Cum Laude. Alexandra Morrissey. Kiaja Dequay Davis, Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Nicole Lazowick. <laughs> Caitlin Rose Morera, Magna Cum Laude. Bridget Marie McDonald, Magna Cum Laude. Carolyn Patricia Gallagher.
Joan Alexandra Kunek. Stephanie McFadden. Aaron Shalifo. Marianne Din. Laura Kelly Christian, summa cum laude. Allison M. Deitch. Morgan Lynn Schuler. Kayla Nicole Troy. Helen E. Cho. Ruth T. Montez de Oca. Gabrielle Rachel Alouche. Lidar Alon. Nicole Cahill. Rebecca Susan Wallace. Jessica Homa. Jada Generat. Ayana, Naisha, Simaja, Cannon. Jasmine, Sophia, Brewer. Grace, M. White, Kumlade. Catherine, Marie, Rosenblum, Magna Kumlade. Zoe Stack. Luyao Wei. Anna K. Myers, Kumlade. Victoria Gardner. Lauren Sakio. Debra Sermarini. <laughs> Derek Aloysius Slopek, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily M. Ackerman. <laughs> Kylie L. Berry. <laughs> Thomas Plunkett. Peter J. Taylor. Summon Zaman Summa Cum Laude. Abigail Elizabeth Fox. Daniel James Coleman III. Kayla S. Campbell. Yuki Wong, Cum Laude. Wajatha P. Soth. Allison Reseski. Rachel Dorothy Larkin. Hannah Park. Sadell S. O'Brien. Hope Olangsi, Magna Cum Laude. Benjamin Russell Kaufman. 
Julia Catherine Thornton, Cassidy L. Jones, Sarah Fiorek, Rosanna Mian, Michaela McGillis, Shannon Marie Glessner, Jenna Rose Yarnell, Beth Ann Villada, Grace Hurley, Vonnegut H. Queen and Johnson, <laughs> Madeline Maria Harper, Maxine Van Osten, JL James, Eric. Ajane J. Westcott. Aja Monet Bing. Amber Rawls. Malik Smith. Aria Nicole De Silva, Alexis M. Lozada, Matthew R. Grants, Amani N. Washaha, Zoe Anastasia Zacharias, cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Perez. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Jackson. <laughs> Rachel Fields. <laughs> Joan Forrester. Brian Flowers, Darby Newman, Alyssa Sieka, Margaret Smith, Zoe Gawathne. Aiden M. Savoy. Tyler Bokunawis. Juanita Renee Williams. Lisa M. Melvin. Sonia R. Phillips. Monet Vanika Murray. Princess Davenport. Sierra Reagan. Carolyn Rose Nicholson. Cassandra Saunders, Gwendolyn C. Bond, Danae Green, Emily.
Holly Davis. I would now like to present our students from the Leadership and Career Studies program, earning a certificate in diversity and inclusion. At this time, staff will direct the students to rise and make their way to the stage. Leadership and Career Studies is a four-year certificate program providing young adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities an authentic college experience while developing academic abilities, career aspirations, work skills, and independence at Temple University. <laughs> Dean Davis, Deputy Dean Booth, esteemed faculty, devoted alumni, and dedicated professional staff, I present the students who have completed the Diversity, diversity and Inclusion Certificate in the Leadership and Career Studies program. Louis Sauls. James Jones. Jamie Whitehead. Judith Montina. Ibrahim Kasumu. Alex Hong. One final act needs to be completed today before you graduate from Temple University's College of Education and Human Development. As a ceremonious gesture of your graduation, graduates will turn their tassel simultaneously on the count of three. Can I have all of our graduates please stand? You're going to turn your tassel from the right side to the left side of your cap, symbolizing your transition from candidate to graduate. Are you ready? One, two, three. Temple University community. Best wishes to all of you as you continue your journey for success and satisfaction in your personal and professional lives. As this concludes our ceremony, we ask once more for your cooperation as the stage party and our graduates begin to recess. After the stage party recesses, our newest minted alumni will be dismissed by row. Please stay in your seats until staff dismissed you. Congratulations to our new Temple alumni and their families.